Hi, my name is Kate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable themes or plugins if your WordPress site isn't active. This is helpful for customers whose site has been deactivated due to a hacked plugin or theme. This tutorial is separated into two sections. The first one is for plugins, and the second is for themes. First, I will show you how to disable plugins via the database. From your main hosting tab, click on cPanel in the submenu. Scroll down until you find the Database Tools section. Now click on PHP My Admin. You will need to log in with your cPanel password. Next, select the database where your plugin is located. Go to the underscore options table. Now you need to find the entry active underscore plugins. This is usually on the second page of entries for the options table. Choose edit for the active plugins row. Under the option value in the large text box, you need to delete all of the content. At the bottom of the page, click Go. Please note that this will deactivate all of your plugins, but it will not remove the plugin or its settings. You can also remove a plugin completely by using your file manager. Back in your cPanel, scroll to the File Management section. Select your file manager and choose the web root if prompted. Now you need to go to the folder for the WordPress installation. Then go to the wp-content folder. In the plugins folder, you need to find the folder for the specific plugin that you need to remove. Once you do that, select it and delete the folder. You can remove or change themes using the same methods. To change your theme via the database, go to your cPanel, and scroll down to the Database Tools section. Then select PHP My Admin, and log in using your cPanel password. Next, select the database for the WordPress installation. Go to the underscore options table, and now you need to find the entries template and style sheet. These are usually on page two of the options table. Click edit, and you will need to do this with both template and style sheet. And we're going to edit these entries. You need to set the name of the theme you wish to change to. You can usually use the default WordPress themes, such as 2015. Click Go to save your changes. And now do the same thing for Style Sheet. You can also remove themes using your file manager. From your cPanel, go to the file management section and choose file manager. Go to your web root. And now you need to locate the folder for this WordPress installation. Go to the wp-content folder, and then to the themes folder. Now you will need to locate the folder for the theme that you need to remove, and then click delete. There you go! 
If your WordPress site was deactivated and you have completed these steps, you can contact our Terms of Service department to have your site reactivated.